Hey internet, welcome to Montana. <laughs> this is my room now. So I wouldn't consider myself much of a risk taker. One of the main examples that I can use to exemplify this is that I wanted so badly through college to do study abroad. I wanted so badly to go to a different country and get that experience, but I was just like so scared of going alone and all of the potential things that could go wrong that I didn't do it. As I was growing up, my acts of rebellion were few and far between and never done without a very thorough risk analysis. I've been seeing this thing online lately that says that uh, when you graduate from high school, the valedictorian is not necessarily the most intelligent, but they are most likely the most obedient. And uh, it's hard not to let that hurt my feelings a little bit, but it's definitely true. I mean, I was the goody two-shoes. I did all of the things that were expected of me. I, uh, you know, just didn't want to take risks. And so, I don't know. I just, I developed this thing where, like, if I was told to do a thing and it made sense, uh, I would do it. It's not that I didn't think about things on my own, I just tended to choose the path of least resistance and the path that would most likely make me uh, be successful and least likely uh, make anyone else in my life mad at me. I could sit here and psychoanalyze myself for days and try to figure out why that is the case, but I know that is the case. Just basically, uh, I have never been much of a risk taker. I didn't do a lot of things and I feel like I missed out on a lot of things that would have been good experiences because I was worried about the risks. I'm saying this because about a year ago, I took the opportunity to go to VidCon on my own. I had uh, been given the opportunity to go because of the Smudge Memorial Fellowship that Steve had put on and uh, some people who were super generous gave money and allowed me to go basically for free to VidCon. I don't think I can tell you guys how scary that was to me, how scary it was to fly across the country and be a part of this event that had, you know, 30,000 people or something that I didn't know and I was gonna have to spend several days there and I was so worried that I was just gonna feel so lonely and so uncomfortable the whole time and it was gonna be awful. And so it felt like this huge risk, but somehow it was presented to me in a way that I decided it was worth it. I took that risk. And that risk paid off. That was an amazing time. I I just, oh my gosh, I just had the most amazing VidCon last year and it was great in every possible way and there was no way in which I regretted taking that risk and it kind of opened my eyes to the idea of like, okay, maybe some things that I think that our huge risks aren't really that bad after all. Maybe I am more comfortable with taking risks and more capable of taking risks than I thought I was. That kind of opened the door until we got to the place where I realized that I could potentially move across the country. And this is ultimately why I'm talking about it because I feel like I've probably <laughs> taken the biggest risk of my life coming out here and uh, just moving so far away and starting this kind of new phase of my life. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was absolutely terrifying. You know, just this like overwhelming umbrella of fear that things were gonna go wrong and it was gonna be bad. And you know, there were all of these reasons, this huge list of reasons. Um, my risk analysis was not super favorable. But I've been here for a couple weeks now and I am just loving it. I. <laughs> I can't even explain to you how amazing it is to wake up in the morning and look out the window and be able to see snow-capped mountains and, you know, whether it is sunny or raining or cloudy or cold or hot, it's just beautiful here and there's so many cool opportunities that I've never had before, so many things that I get to do and so many people that I get to meet and just in general I'm in an environment that I enjoy. I guess the whole point of this is that, uh, risks aren't always a bad thing. I want to be able to like look back on this and be like, remember that time that you were scared of a thing and then you did it and it was really awesome and then you did it again and <sighs> there are times for caution in life and there are times for, you know, making sure that things are gonna end up okay. But there's also a time to just like take a leap off a cliff and hope that it works out well. So, Missoula has been great in like 
a couple hours I'm going to be getting on a plane and flying to Portland, which is a place that I've never been before, and uh, me and a couple friends are road tripping down to VidCon, get to go to VidCon for my second year. This year I actually uh, am a part of things, I get to work a booth, I get to do it from a completely different perspective which is going to be interesting. And ultimately, in total, I'm spending two weeks on the road. I am going to VidCon, and then we're gonna be staying around Anaheim for a little while, and then coming back through Nevada and Utah, which I've never been to, and Idaho. So it's a summer of doing new things and going new places and meeting new people, and man, I'm excited for it, and just like feel super grateful that I got the opportunity, so. I am going to attempt to do my best at vlogging VidCon again. I love watching last year's videos over and you guys seem to like them, so keep an eye out for that. At the point that you're watching this, I'm likely somewhere in the process of getting to VidCon, so yeah. Down in the comments, let me know, are you a risk taker? What is the biggest risk that you feel like you've ever taken? If you want to share it, I don't know, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.